Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Tabby Violet. So I'm not gonna lie, I wanna be straight up honest with you guys. I came here with the intention to sell this bag. <laughs> this is my Louis Vuitton Treville bag multicolor. And yeah, I basically came to give you guys a review and I was planning on selling it. Then I looked at it and then I saw it with my outfit and then it's all snowy outside and it looks so pretty and the white and the colors and yeah, I'm not sure anymore. So my intentions of this video is to do a review and then let me know what your guys' thoughts are. <laughs> I really did come to sell it, but I honestly, this is like a work of art for me. It really is. It's like... I don't know. Well, anyways, let's get started. I'm sorry I came here like all confused and everything, but you guys are like my friends and I come here to like chit chat with you guys. So here we are, came here to do a review and to also uh, was planning on selling it, but I do have something in there that I will sell and it's also multicolor. So I'm gonna get into the bag, why I bought it, a little short review and also what can fit in it. And so my camera is going to die, so if it, shuts down in like the mid review, I'll come back and I might look a little, the composition and lighting might be a little bit different. All right, so if you guys are here to see what's in this bag and a little review, let's get started. So just a little bit on this bag, it is, gosh, I think from 2005, I will put the date code right there, or the year that it was made. I really like it because of the colorway. It's purple, like a mustardy green and pink, and then there's like blues in it. And this is just a really cool bag. So I bought this in the summer, this past year of 2019. And of course I bought it because I love multicolor. It's my favorite, favorite uh, Louis Vuitton like collection piece. And I, I have the multicolor black wallet, insulate wallet in Noir. So I already knew that I loved the Noir, but I just have been eyeing the white one for a really long time and just never really jumped on it because you know how bags always go, uh, like you buy other things and then other th your other bags or wish list just gets pushed aside. So what really pushed me over the edge was I uh, saw Alex from HRH Collection. She bought this from like a pre-loved store and when I saw it, I was like, oh my gosh, I love it so much because typically this type of line, the multicolor line, um, what is the artist called? Um, Mirakami. Mirakami, his like bags are very bold. There's a lot of studs, a lot of bows, and just a little bit ec more extra than <laughs> what I like. I mean, if multicolor rainbow's not any more like any extra, and then you add more rivets and bows, it was just too much for me. And so then I saw, I've never seen this model, and I saw Alex post this, and I just love like the simplicity of it as you can say it's not really simple but for a multicolor bag it is pretty simple um i do like this bag because it is a great like um medium sized bag the reason why i was gonna sell this bag uh well i'm kind of jumping all over the place let me get into more of the bag so yeah so there are these little rivets which i think aren't that extra then there's these little plated rivets or what are they little corner pieces on the side and then yeah oh and then i added this little chain sorry so it doesn't normally have a chain and then um more little rivets in the back the the little zipper pieces say louis vuitton on it and what else yeah and then oh and then the inside so it zips all the way down as you can see so I really like that because it has a wide opening and inside it has this like beautiful, beautiful like, what is it, like suede or microfiber burgundy lining. And yeah, so I really like that. So I'm actually going to take off the strap so you guys can see what it looks like on its own. And I had to put a strap on because honestly, like carrying a top handle bag is just not my thing. It's like too cumbersome, too uh, annoying, and I'm not really like a person that carries bags like this, but I mean, I have, but I prefer crossbody bags, so I do add a strap. Um, I'll link my straps 
that I also put on it. I also put my Speedy um, Vachetta strap on it. And I also put this little white strap, which I will sh show insert a picture in there on it. And then lastly, I have, uh, yeah, and that's it. Those are the straps that I put on it. You really can get super creative with this bag. It's a beautiful work of art, like I said. So you can be super extra. And then also this bag has a little um, front pocket inside and it has a little, the burgundy lining. And sorry about my nails. I need to repaint them. But yeah, so it has that little pocket. And that is about it. There are no feet on the bottom. And these little top handles are Vachetta. Vachetta here, and then the piping is also the Vachetta. It has a really, really nice, very nice, very little patina, considering that this bag is a couple years old. Well, a couple years, like, gosh, 15 years? Yeah, kind of. So I saw Alex get this. I wanted to get it too and I didn't want to spend a lot of money on it. So I looked on Fashion File, I looked on eBay, I looked at a lot of pre-loved places. Okay, hi. <laughs> so the, I was right, my battery did die, and so here I am. What did I say? Oh, okay, so I was saying that, yeah, I saw Alex this summer post a video on this, how she got it pre-loved, and I wanted to get it for a good price as well. So I looked pre-loved on Fashion File, on eBay, some other like sellers, and honestly, they were pretty high priced. And then I eventually found, I found this on, it's called the Louis Vuitton Facebook Addicted Buy and Sell Group. And yeah, so I found it for a price that I wanted to buy it for. The seller was really sweet. She took a lot of pictures and People recommended her as a seller and she just, the transaction was amazing. So I couldn't complain on that part. And yeah, so I got it. I loved it. And to be honest, it's like a work of art. It sits in my closet and it isn't being worn. So I think maybe it's not being worn as much because like I said, we're into winter. Hello, Atlee. We're into winter, we're into like fall and fall I just wasn't kind of I couldn't make it really work for fall because I don't really wear very much color can you wait Bye. thank you so I couldn't really make it work for fall because I don't really uh, wear very much color and so this is just a fun pop of color for summer and I also think that it looks really cute like on the winter like snow I don't wear this obviously in the snow or if there's any chance of it getting splattered on obviously you can see that it's in imm immaculate condition the only thing about it is that the zipper has turned like a silver and I told the seller that and she's like yeah it kind of just like she bought it pre-loved so it happened that way. I'm sure I could get it replaced or, or replated at Louis Vuitton, but honestly, now that I look at it, I love mixing metals. Okay, well today I'm wearing all silver. Um, yeah, I'm wearing all silver, but I most of the times I'll mix gold and silver, so I do like the fact that, I think it's kind of a play on like mixing silver and, and like the gold color. Can you stop please? mixing uh silver and then the gold color so yeah i'll you know if i end up keeping this i probably maybe will get it replated maybe not but yeah it doesn't really bother me at this point i just think this is an amazing work of art another uh con of this is that some people say that the the canvas sometimes starts turning like a not white color like a cream and it kind of gets like a yellowy color this is very evident that this has not I don't know if it's the sun that does it or constant wear or maybe like smoke or who knows. But um, yeah, so I personally don't know that from experience. And then, but I have seen it like on pictures. And then another thing is you'll, you won't be able to see this. I didn't even notice this when I bought it from the seller until I got it. But she did point it out and I really couldn't even see it in the pictures. I don't even think you'll be able to see it on camera. But the inside of this like, microfiber is like a burgundy color and there has been issues in the past where people say that it like leaks through the canvas i th you can see maybe that there's like a little little pink maroon leakage but yeah really you can't even see it it almost looks like it's a play on the eyes so 
yeah, I mean, this bag's 15 years old, and if there isn't much more of that, like, leaking, like, I don't know what it's called, the leakage of, like, color, dye, something going through, then I don't really think that it's gonna have more of an issue. Um, I don't know what Louis Vuitton does for that. I mean, how can you replace all the canvas? Do they even make this anymore? I don't know. So that's something to think about, too, but for the most part, I mean, if that did happen, you can always, like, I can always go like this which actually I prefer this side more which is cute but anyways uh, let's get into what fits into this bag so I think those are the cons maybe if you start using it a little bit more there'll be like more wear on this plating but this can be definitely be replaced in Louis Vuitton I've had personal experience with my clay that I replaced and I got it done for free some people pay I don't know how that works but yeah so far so good Okay, so beautiful patina. I love it. As you can see, it's in amazing condition. So let's start off with what's inside. Let's scoot you guys a little back. Okay, so I think this is a little bit better. I am a bit cut off, but I'm not the star of this, this uh, video. This little baby is. Okay, so as you can see, it's so beautiful. So it unzips like this. There is a it zips that way and then there's a little zip zipper clasp on that side. It's very a wide mouth as you can see. And the first thing that just decided to fall out is my iPhone 8 Plus. And you can see that there's plenty of room for that up and down for size reference. So this is a pretty big case. So if you wanna see like how it looks like that, there is quite a bit of space and it definitely can fit in the front pocket as you can see it can fit upwards like this yeah okay so then also inside i have tissue kitty tissue i have a uh like a catch-all that kind of has just like <laughs> tons of crap sometimes i carry it sometimes i don't and then my louis vuitton key clay and then also i have my Louis Vuitton key pouch, which I carry every, not key pouch, mini pochette, which I carry everywhere. And then it has all my necessities. And then my card holder. And actually I don't really carry this much because I'm just showing you for like more purposes. Like I'm adding a little bit more so you can see what can fit. And then um, a snack. And then lastly, I have my Louis Vuitton insulate wallet in noir and oh my gosh look they're so cute together and this is in immaculate condition i this is for sale jt bought it for me for christmas one year i bought this separate and yeah i just i just use it more for a clutch i don't really carry wallets so this is for sale if you are interested dm me i'll send you tons of pictures Shh. I'll send you tons of pictures and a video of everything. This is like in great condition. So yeah, this is the Insulate Wallet, Wallet Noir. Look how cute they are together. So that is all that's in this bag. As you can see, there is a two pockets back here, a bigger pocket, and then a little smaller pocket. Hello, Atlee again. And that is it. And that was what can fit and so much more can fit in here. Uh, so yeah, that is, let me move, oh, should I put this over here? All right guys, well that's about it. Sorry for the super casual like review, but I just wanted to like kind of be a little chit chatty with you and talk through my thought process of why I was thinking about selling this bag because I don't wear it as much, but I think I'll get more use out of it in the winter and summer. I think I mentioned that in another video, but yeah, let me know what you guys thought. If you guys are interested, send me a message. I might change my mind. If I do change my mind, I will put it in the description box or I will put it on a vlog sale. Um, or you can follow me on Instagram at tabby.violet. Before my camera dies again, let me quickly show you mod shots of this bag on. So here it is, crossbody, or not crossbody, but like on the crook of my arm, like this. I think it's, I'm 5'2 for reference, uh, 135, and yeah, so that's what it looks like, top handle. Sorry, Atlee was playing the snow, so this is all her stuff. Yeah, I think it's a really cool bag. 
<laughs> so I was um, very casual today because it's snowing and we're staying inside so I'm in sweats I apologize I will uh, put some more pictures of what it looks like a little bit more dressed up and if you want to see more picture pictures uh, yeah head to Instagram so thank you so much guys for staying tuned also if you have any questions leave them down below I love you so much and yeah I'll see you in my next one bye are you done? yes